Hello, it's Paul Hurst here from Paul on Twitter. And I just thought I'd take a few moments to show you a nice little new app called Chirp. And I suppose to describe Chirp, it's kind of a QR code generator. Uh, you've probably seen the box-shaped uh, barcodes that smartphones can now read called QR codes. Well, if you imagine the QR code software which allows you to share websites and links and text and things like that to uh, people's mobile phones by using a, a picture. Well, Chirp allows you to do that via sound. It uses kind of, uh, well, it's I suppose it's like a digital bird song really. Uh, it's communicating using a, uh, a synthesized sound that, that sends data to another uh, or it sends an instruction to another handset running the Chirp software as well. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to click here on this picture. Uh, okay, so there we go. Nice picture, some flowers there. And if I wanted to send that very same picture, which is stored on the cloud, it's not stored uh, via the, uh, the app itself, it's just stored on the cloud. I want to send that to somebody else. They have the Chirp app open as well. I chirp it. And there it goes, it's sent. So if somebody else had the Chirp app open, then they would receive that picture. Um, so that's enough of, of demoing it there. I haven't, or I don't actually know anybody else who's, who's running this. I haven't got any friends running this app at the moment. But what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to demo it using somebody else's demo. And it's actually... Uh, Rory Keflin Jones, who's the BBC tech correspondent, and he's demoed this software via the BBC website with the software's creator, who is there. Uh, and I'm going to show you what happens when I hijack a tw uh, a a, um, a chirp when I uh, kind of listen in to what these guys are doing. So I'm just going to turn my phone around because uh, the microphone's in the bottom there. So what's going to happen is uh, uh, this guy's going to share a chirp and I'm going to set my software. You can see it's analysing the sound there, but I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. There we go. Um, right, so off we go then. Sorry there. Uh, so let's tune in to uh, see the uh, software being demoed to the BBC. Here we go. Patrick, just show us how chirp works. Okay, I'd like to share a picture with you, and so I'm going to take a picture now. You can take a picture of my ugly mug. And I'm going to put that onto the cloud. Right. And up it goes. And, and now I'd like to share the image. Here we go. Well, there's a picture of me. So, it's on this phone, it's on this phone, and it's on that phone. And it's on another phone as well, Ooh, Rory, so there you go. So just explain... Um, there we go. So basically, this software is quite a novel. It's got um, some, I suppose, a novelty factor at the moment. It's a really nice way of getting phones to uh, access data or links or uh, some information that's been shared somewhere else. So there we go. Uh, maybe not the most secure method of sending more confidential information, uh, but that's Chirp. Uh, and as you can see, it uh, does actually work, even if you're like me, and you've not got any friends to try it out with. From Paul here on Twitter, goodbye. So that's Chirp. It's a free download in the iTunes store at the moment uh, for iPhones. Not sure about an Android version yet. Uh, but it is free to download uh, via the iTunes store. And uh, I thought, even though I have no friends using it at the moment, if anybody out there would like to uh, do what I've done and, and chirp via video, then uh, I'm going to send you my Twitter link and you can uh, follow me on there rather than having to type in. So here we go. Uh, there we go. I hope that worked. So uh, that's it from me, uh, twitter.com forward slash from Paul.